the booms of explosions echo through the streets of Sudan's capital and elsewhere. The roaring of fighter jets streak through the sky as a power struggle between the army and a major paramilitary group rages. Dozens of civilians have been killed since battles broke out early Saturday and bullets started raining down on neighborhoods. We woke up to the sound of gunshots and bombs here. This eyewitness described the violence as sounding like a thunderstorm in Khartoum, where residents are hiding in their homes under a cloud of shelling. When the guns briefly fall silent, birds can be heard chirping. At this very minute, it's a little bit calm, but just like 15 minutes ago, there were many fighter jets um, and you can hear like rapid artillery. There, there's a lot of chaos going on. Only four years ago, a popular uprising ushered in a new era for Sudan after three decades of autocratic rule by Omar al-Bashir. But the country's dreams of democracy were derailed in 2021, when its top two generals joined forces to seize power in a coup. Now the army chief and the head of the paramilitary rapid support forces are fighting each other. After months of mounting tensions over the best way to restore a civilian government, the African Union convened an emergency meeting Sunday to call for a ceasefire. Arab states making similar appeals, with Egypt, an ally of Sudan's military, offering to mediate. The World Food Programme condemned the deaths of three of its workers and temporarily halted its humanitarian work in the country. It said in a statement, we cannot do our life-saving work if the safety and security of our teams and partners is not guaranteed. Despite the diplomatic pressure and a temporary humanitarian pause in the fighting on Sunday afternoon, residents reported continued gunfire as night fell. In a series of tweets, the spokesperson for the civilian coalition that's negotiated with the two generals warned the conflict could lead to civil war and the country's collapse. For City News, I'm Karen Siolan.